We are this essay. This is Hyper Research Shodhara Singh. Welcome, viewers. Welcome to the predictions for the month of May 2024. We have divided the month into four parts, and uh, we're following the exact pattern as last month, the month of April. This month, you have the new moon on the 7th of May. So, in this week, this video, you'll be covering the new moon predictions. So, May 1st to May 7th is what we are covering in this video. You have the central theme of the month that we'll describe with the help of three cards from three different oracular decks. So you have the card of freedom, you have the card of facade, and you have King Arthur's card. So let's begin with the card of freedom. Here we are talking about, you need to uh, free yourself from everything that is holding you back, that is binding you. That's a ball and chain around your ankle. It could be anything. It could be a habit, right? Something you cannot do without. It could be uh, a situation that you in, you are in. It could be a relationship. It could be something that has now become that one thing that you cannot do without. You need to change your routine. You need to, you know, shake it up a little bit. That's what this card is talking about because we all are born free and we all must live with freedom, right? And that is what May is going to be all about because that's what you're going to experience, feel, and then you will have to find a way around it. So the card of facade uh, is uh, often um, interpreted in many ways. As a central theme, it's going to be more about you will have to keep up appearances. There are certain duties and responsibilities in everybody's life that may not be what you like, but it is something that you have to do. And that's what you're going to have to do in the month of May. This could be related to a personal or a professional relationship or both. All right. King Arthur's card. King Arthur, as you know, Arthur Pendragon. Uh, his surname Pendragon uh, was originally not Pendragon, but it's because they worked with dragons. And that's why, uh, and they worked with dragons in a beautiful way, in a friendly way, not in the crazy way that has been written in storybooks, which is completely untrue. Um, Merlin was who he had uh, kept with himself as his mage and uh, Merlin was the one who uh, understood how dragons worked and that's why Merlin magic is a very high order form of magic even in the dragon realm. Um, so this card has come here to say that you need to start using your instinct, you need to start uh, listening to your gut, you need to start taking decisions in your life without taking opinions of everybody's as what you think. Take everyone's opinion, I have no problem with it, but ultimately the decision to move the chess piece in your life has to be you, right? Remember that. All right, uh, let's uh, move on to the general theme. So here we have, I've divided the deck into four parts. So we have the general theme, we have the relationships, general theme, health, wealth, and relationships. This is the first deck you're getting, which is the general theme. Here you have the five of swords. This is what's happening from first to seventh. And remember, seventh is your new moon. Seventh is when you can make new beginnings, you can make new promises to yourself, and please don't forget to live up to it. Five of swords, five of pentacles, six of swords, and seven of pentacles. So swords and pentacles, you'll have, uh, you'll have some decisions in your life which you know will have pros and cons. So that is one thing that's happening in the first week also money is going to be something that is going to be uh, that you are going to have to deal with your own monies let's begin with five of swords uh, five of swords is a card that says either you are going well there will be a situation either online or offline in which you are going to uh, feel embarrassed or someone will say something that will humiliate you or you will feel upset about it but something it won't go down well with you now, there are two ways to handle a situation like this. Either you confront the person, which I'm absolutely against. Confronting never ever solves the problem. It creates a reaction. And remember, life is not about reacting. Life is about acting. Take a step back. Find the time and the place where you can speak to the person and say you don't appreciate it and be done with it. Giving a retort, giving a sharp remark back, bringing yourself down to that low vibe. You don't deserve that. Neither does the situation deserve that don't let yourself be defined by it right it's okay to feel bad about it but don't carry that load forward is what i'm saying 
Uh, five of Swords uh, is also a card of hollow victory, uh, which means that you have you wa started walking on a path, and uh, you have reached the destination. You have you have won, and you've achieved your aim. But the people who were encouraging you during this process, they are, that crowd seems to have thinned down. Those people seem to have backed off. It could be because of the change that you have undergone during the process or it could be that they have changed in the process or they feel that you know you don't you're not on the same page anymore it's also possible that they thought that you needed encouragement in the beginning but you don't need it since you picked up speed etc on the way and then you finally achieved your aim but it is giving you a level of disappointment you don't feel that kind of support and enthusiasm that you initially enjoyed if it does matter to you, then you need to sit them down and speak to them. Remember, communication is key here, viewer. That's very important that you speak, a heart, speak your heart out. Having said that, ensure that when you're speaking, the person in front is not a wall. They have ears and they're ready to listen. So make sure that their time is also not being wasted. Right, five of coins. Uh, this is a card of poverty thinking. Here we are talking about you using uh, incorrect language in terms of blue magic, in terms of money magic on yourself. For example, I can't afford this. Bad idea, right? Uh, let me see how I can work my way around this. Or uh, this is not something I require. I like how it looks. I'm talking about, for example, a luxury item. Um, just because somebody else has it or you see it on the internet and you like it and you want to have it, it may not be something that you need. So ask yourself about the utility. There are many ways to go around this but do not use self-defeating negative financial terminology because that brings the vibe down and also creates more pockets for you right and the universe will give you more reasons to feel poor and poorer um, of course we have come out with our decor requesa collection all hundred money spells are yours if there's something that you wish all you have to do is get in touch and we'll conduct the four six or eight day spells depending on what you want the Six of Swords is the next card which talks about in a situation where you're waiting for things to get better and you already have an offer in your hand, you're expecting a better offer, here's the story, you're being asked to cut your losses and move on because this is as good as it's going to get. This card also means that you might be planning a trip by the water. Seven of Coins, Seven of Pentacles, this card tells me that you are uh, definitely thinking about saving up for something could be a trip it could be for buying something uh, bigger and better but you or simply to increase your savings maybe perhaps you might have dipped into it um, and uh, you need to think about now filling it up to a comfortable level right we all do that and it's a very good thing it's a good card so all in all that's your general uh, predictions for the week the first week of may 2024 starting from first to seventh the second week, we are looking at health. You've pulled out the King of Cups, the King of Coins or the King of Pentacles, the Two of Wands and the Knight of Cups. I say this, I, I, was, I had a conversation with someone um, who had contacted me from YouTube and I had told uh, them this. Most of the time, uh, a health issue could be a cause directly or indirectly with a wealth issue. Somehow they both end up interconnected. Even if, even if you want to rhyme, they both kind of rhyme, right? Health, wealth, right? Um, so here we are talking about a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be one or you could be dealing with one. This card means that you are, uh, you are holding on to something really tightly. Um, this could be a, an aim, this could be a person, an object, and because of that, it's stressing you out. Uh, you're quite tensed. Um, it's possible that you feel insecure or maybe underconfident, you're not sure where this is going. Um, it can be something that you want. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and say, for some of you, it could be an aim, for some of you, it could be um, trying to reach, achieve a target. For some of you, it could be a relationship or a person. Um, feel, you know, feeling the swing, the up and down motion, uh, which is usually what happens in life. And this disbalance that is being created is giving you uh, stress and anxiety. 
maybe that's why you're feeling restless of late. If you are, please have a dragon spell done and get your vibes high for Christ's sake, okay? The next card is the king of coins, king of pentacles. So for some of you, don't go by the gender viewer. It could also be a female. Uh, we are talking about your monies here. So uh, for some of you, it could be the borrowing and lending issues. Maybe some tenders have not been passed, a loan in the bank. Someone owes you money. Uh, you're waiting for a promotion that's yet to come. It's possible that uh, you haven't heard from your uh, workplace uh, yet and that's making you um, a little restless, um, you know, ants in pants syndrome. And if that is the case, you need to gaze at yourself and tell yourself that the ball has started rolling. You've already done what you've had to do. The reply is yet to come. Your job is now to keep a high vibrational frequency. How do you do that? You do that by trusting the universe that it will bring good and only good to you, providing you're ready to receive it. If you're restless, you're a vessel. And if you're restless and if you put water in the vessel and you keep shaking the vessel, the water will spill over, right? But if the, water, the vessel is steady, the water is going to get right into the vessel and it will pour. That's as simple as I can explain how vibrational frequency works. Stay still. Keep yourself occupied. Keep yourself busy. Do something that interests you. And every time your mind gets restless, do what I do. And that's two words. Cancel that. Say that to yourself. Cancel that. And then you'll be right back to doing something, keeping yourself occupied. All right? So do that and you'll be fine. Two of Wands. Some of you are... Uh, some of you are uh, victims of overthinking. You are thinking about something that you already have in your hand and you're thinking about how to make it bigger and better. For some reason, it has a lot of importance in your life and that could be why you are uh, not being able to complete your sleep pattern and that's getting affected. Um, these planning, these, these things that we plan, these actions that we plan out, please remind yourself when your body needs to be well rested, your mind needs to be well rested so that in the morning you're in sync with your aim. So make sure that your sleeping pattern is right. You're sleeping on time. Don't spend too much time with your blue light, your, your uh, gadgetry, your technological gadgetries. And Knight of Cups, interesting. So some of you are waiting uh, for this uh, emotional proposal to come through. So you might be in the market for it or you are emotionally involved or attached to someone. And uh, you are waiting for some kind of reciprocation, some kind of a reply from that side. And that's so... What I'm looking at here is a lot of reasons for you to feel stressed out, anxious, tension, uh, tensed, um, insecure, right, worried, and all these can be released. It's very, very simple. Two deep breaths and then one exhale. Try that a couple of times. If that doesn't work, get in touch with us. And I'm sure that we'll do a dragon spell for you and everything will be fine. But do take the effort yourself. That I would recommend first. All right, let's move on to the health, uh, wealth aspect. Now that general and health are done. For the wealth aspect from May 1st to 7th, you've pulled out the seven of swords, the six of swords, the shadow side, and the card of the blessings of the ancestors. What an interesting deck. Seven of swords looks like either you'll be deceiving someone or somebody will be deceiving you. This is the money deck, you guys, so just remember that. Now be very careful with your monies. If there is somebody who's going to deceive you, do not entrust someone with your monies unless and until you get it in writing. If you're, if you're lending money to someone, I want you to get it in writing, right? Uh, if you are borrowing money from someone, again, ensure that it is written so that um, tomorrow a, a larger number is not quoted and you get into trouble. Um, if you are entrusting somebody with, say, a business dealing and you're giving them as a middle person money uh, you know so that they can get the job done get everything in written very very important because if this card has come then you need to be extra careful this card also of course means that uh, you need to change your strategy in a situation because it seems like the previous strategy that was working for you is no longer working for you now six of swords um, this card has already come in one of the decks before I'm sure you remember so you've been offered something. This could be buying, selling um, land or, you know, uh, your flat, your house, your bungalow. It could be uh, any any luxury item or your car. It could also be um, a job offer, a promotion, etc. Do not wait for it to get better. 
This is what the universe has designated for you. Take it and express gratitude. But cut your losses and move on. I know that you expected more, but this is what you are getting. So please take it because if you don't, then you'll miss out on an opportunity. The shadow side is the next card. Um, I love this card because I think this is by far one of the most challenging cards of the tarot system. And uh, why this, ca this card is will make you see the dark side of you and we all have the light and the dark within us right so in the financial aspect of your life there is one side that you don't you don't like looking at it do you owe money to somebody are you yet to finish your loans are you do you have any interest happening is there any emi that you're stuck in um could it be that you're not making enough as as much as you want to um this 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 fearful side of you this side of you that you that makes you uncomfortable, you know, that feeling in the pit of your stomach of, oh, you know, maybe I'll deal with it later. That is what you're going to have to deal with now in the first week. And I promise you it will be fruitful because you will be able to know yourself better. And when you shed light on the darker side, there'll be nothing left to hide, right? So be your best friend, not your worst enemy. And the last card for the uh, wealth deck, you have the blessings of the ancestors. So when some good things happen, Please don't forget to keep your hand on your heart and say, I express gratitude for the blessings that my ancestors are bestowing on me, right? Are sending across my way because that's exactly how you're getting saved every time from whatever it is that you're getting saved from. So good for you. And the last uh, deck that we have for you is relationships in which you've pulled out the hermit card, the fool card, the magician card, wow, and the page of wands. So Right here, you have three major arcana cards, which means you have the blessings of the ancestors. Right up front, you could be a Virgo or dealing with one, says the Hermit card. You are being asked to introspect. Self-introspection is key here when it comes to your relationships. And remember, I know that most of you think that when we talk about relationships, we talk about your romantic relationships, not necessarily. It could be the current relationship that is weighing on your mind at the moment. And it doesn't have to be a strange. It could be personal or professional. So introspect on your relationship with this person X uh, at work or at home. How important is it and how much you're ready to put in to make it work, right? Is it really worth it? Investment, that's what I'm talking about, emotional investment. The fool card is here to say that you need to take a leap of faith because it seems here that the universe does have your back and your overthinking is kind of, is, is creating these stress knots in the good stuff that's supposed to come towards you okay so don't do that the magician card it, so you the magical manifester of uh, your relationship aspect for this week for the first week of may viewer which means whatever you want you'll get so if you doubt then that is exactly what's going to happen from the other side if you trust then that's exactly what's going to happen on the other side if you bring joy then that's exactly what's going to happen on the other side so do that give out what you expect and that's exactly what's going to happen to you because you are as you notice the magician of your destiny you are the one who's creating it and the last card for the first week of may you've pulled out the page of wands which means you will be receiving or giving out a message a creative one and that this could be applicable in your personal life or your professional life um, and this is going to be one of those things that will turn out to be a beautiful solution to um, the issue that has to be resolved, the challenge that has to be faced at the moment. And it's going to be something that you are, you will feel good about because you'll be thanked profusely for it. All right, um, that's all I have for you, viewer. I will see you in the next couple of videos. Until then, take care of yourselves. And remember, the new moon is on the 7th. Make the best of it. Love, light and knowledge to you all. Be at this essay and Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinam.